Hi, I'm Eric, and I'm doing the world's first LS swapped SLK. It's an LS2, and I've got a 1999 Mercedes. So in the last episode, we managed to get the engine mounted in here, but the next thing I need to do is I need to make a custom engine mount for the driver's side. Let me show you. We're looking at the driver's side, and this is actually the original factory engine mount from the Pontiac GTO that I used. You can see the original hole there on the right, and amazingly, it fits really, really well. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna comp up an engine mount made out of cardboard and then hopefully weld it together and hopefully mount this thing. We'll see how far I get in this video. I'm pretty new at fabricating things, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm pretty excited for this build because nobody's done an SLK before and this is an LS2, it's a six liter, it makes 400 horsepower, 400 pounds feet of torque and it fits amazingly well inside my SLK. I'm actually shocked, it looks like it could have come from the factory. I think actually it's made to be in here. It's the perfect union of German and American automotive technology. Let's go make an engine mount. Let's see how well I do. Let's see if I can get it done in a day. I don't know. Give it a shot. And if you like these kinds of crazy builds, just hit subscribe. And you can follow me on my social media on Twitter and Instagram. I'm pretty responsive there if you want to have a conversation with me. This is what the mount looks like. You see, I put this hole in here, which is where the, uh, that's where it's going to go. This is the stock hole. So it's in about one and three quarters inches. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm going to measure it up. And I got my trusty ruler, so that's going to work pretty well. My plan is to mock it up with cardboard, see how it fits, and then if that works, and that looks pretty good, I'm gonna try to weld it up. Let's see how it goes. I'm not positive I'm gonna get it right, but I've decided to make a box. Let me show you. So these are gonna be the sides, and this is gonna be part that is mounted on the block of the engine, and then in here, I'm gonna have a base, and there's gonna be a thing on the back, and there's gonna be an extra brace in here. Bolt's gonna go here, there's gonna be an extra brace in here for reinforcement. That's basically how it's gonna look. Kinda of hard to show you, but the, that's the original engine mount. What I've done is I've replicated the angle of the engine mount like this. That's the angle, so I've been measuring this really, really carefully. We're gonna basically cut some cardboard and see how it works. The metal that I'm gonna be using is one quarter inch thick, so I need to take that into account. Here's what I've got so far. It's like a little birdhouse, I think. So this is gonna be where the engine mounting up against the block, bolt going down to the, um, the actual rubber mount is gonna be here, and I'm gonna make a little bit for the back, and then I'm gonna do another brace in here, like so. Theoretically, it should replicate all the angles of this. I don't think my welding abilities are that good, but we're gonna find out. So the real issue is on this side over here, it can't be as wide. Over here is the bracket for the alternator right now, and so these two bolts would be in the way of this, so I need to make this a little less wide on this side over here. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do, but maybe I can make this weld this at more of an angle or something. So I just went over to the car and did a test fit with this, and it's not going to work because this back part is gonna be touching the block. Let me show you what I mean. Here's the factory engine mount, and you can see that this part here where my thumb is, this part is contacting the block, so I'm gonna need to cut that out a little bit. So the bolt holes for the alternator would be touching down in this area here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off some of this length at the bottom of this over here and weld this panel in kind of sideways and then make another reinforcement over here around the hole for the, the rubber mount. So it should be plenty strong. I have these two vertical uh, arms here and this is kind of coming in at a bit of an angle. I think I'm gonna try that. So here is the rough mock-up. I've dropped the engine to where it's gonna be in place. So the engine is basically sitting down, I think about as far down as it's gonna be sitting. It looks like I've got actually okay clearance on this side. I thought it was gonna be a little bit too tight with this power steering pump uh, mount, but that looks okay to me. It looks a little bit tight over here by the power steering line. I'm not too worried about that. I can cut that off. I was thinking about putting a plate on the back of it, but I think for right now I'm gonna leave that and I can add it in later if everything looks like it's gonna fit okay. I'm gonna add a reinforcing plate here like so, and then I'm gonna try to weld it together. And we're gonna see what's gonna happen because my welding skills are Minimal. Let's see what happens. I've got this extra gusset here for strength and it's already falling apart. And if you look at the angle of this compared to the factory mount, it should be the same angle and it should be at about the same place, but you can see that the hole to attach to the rubber part, the lower part of the mount is about almost two inches inwards towards the block. So that's what we've got. I'm gonna start cutting some metal now. Let's see how it goes.
Thought I'd try one more improvement. So the stock engine mount has three bolts holding it onto the block. So this one, there's actually four bolts in the block though. So I think I want to use all four. So I added this internal brace, this little gusset over here. And then I closed out the back of the box here too. I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna weld it up first without the, the back just to see how it works. And if it's okay, I will weld the back in. Um, I'm a total amateur welder, so this is gonna be pretty interesting. Next time on Amateur Welders Who Don't Know What They're Doing, see if I can finish the engine mount, paint it, and not burn myself. If you wanna follow my social medias, it's right here on screen, and I'll see you guys in the next video.